Game four was a battle of the unbeat. Marshall at 3-0 and, and surprising Western Kentucky at 4-0. The ground was supposed to belong to the Hilltoppers. They averaged more than 350 yards a game rushing. But Marshall's defense played Hill Stoppers instead. First quarter, Eric Kresser and Randy Moss were making a habit of this touchdown pass thing. Four straight games now that Moss had caught a TD pass. And that much talked about running game belonged to the thundering herd. Doug Chapman added a 19-yard touchdown run in the second quarter, and Marshall had a 17-3 lead at halftime. You like betting lines? You should have bet on Marshall's line. I've never been associated with an offensive line who had every member of the offensive line on either the first or second team all conference and there was no other team i think that's ever done that and that just shows the you know the dominance that we had after the break Cresser and mark wicks burned the secondary for a 35 yard touchdown and then a low turner td put the exclamation mark on a dominating 37 to 3 win Game five, and Marshall was beginning to look like a championship team. UT Chattanooga would soon discover it, too. Just from that first game, you know, the enthusiasm, the team, everybody was hyped up, new players, new coaches, just a great feeling. We just kept it rolling all year. Eric Kresser and Randy Moss kept adding to their highlight tape. 46 yards, and it was 14-0, almost before the teams called heads or tails. A touchdown pass to Jason Wellman for five yards. And then a Doug Chapman touchdown run made it 31-0 at halftime. Third quarter, Low Turner made it interesting. 71 yards for the score with the help of a crushing block from Randy Moss. Marshall led 38-0 and the mocks got hassled by the Herd's defense as soon as they got off the bus. For the second straight week, the Herd's defense does not allow a touchdown. Game six, and Marshall brought out the cannons for their visit to VMI. First, a missile, though. 59 yards from Eric Kresser to Randy Moss. Tim Martin would dazzle the crowd with an electrifying 67-yard punt return to make it 14-7. Two minutes, 13 seconds later, Anthony Dixon on a reverse, and BMI was caught looking the other way. How was it Marshall had more weapons than a military school? If Randy didn't have a good day, Tim would have a good day, Ophida would have a good day, and Doug would have a good day. So, I mean, it's just all balanced out, and um, I just feel blessed to be on this team. Marshall then went to its airborne division, Presser to LaVorne Colclough for 23 yards, and then Presser to Timmy Martin, 35 yards for the touchdown. And the Keenets would have to look for reinforcements down 35-7 at halftime. Second half, E.T. phoned home with a long distance 46-yard touchdown run to put it out of reach. Marshall wins it handily, and the Herd moves to a perfect 6-0.
Game seven, and it's not an easy drive from Cullowee, but seven hours in a bus, much easier to endure than the first quarter of this game. Western Carolina's running backs couldn't run and they couldn't hide. B.J. Cohen, Jerome Embry, and Scott Smythe tackle by committee. Later, Billy Lyon, Ricky Hall, and Paul Totten with the gang tackle. The Eric Kresser and Randy Moss show played to rave reviews. Two touchdown passes in the first quarter made it 14-0. Then Tim Martin made a guest appearance, and by the time the quarter was over, this was over, 28-0. This team was starting to feel like something special was happening. We knew what our goals were at the beginning of the year. We knew what it was going to take to accomplish our goal, and we was going to take nothing less than 15-0. Meantime, Western couldn't do anything offensively. 15 carries, 15 yards in the first half. And when Kresser hit Martin for another touchdown pass, it was 49-7 at halftime. Mercy rule, please. Head coach Bob Pruitt called off the attack, and Marshall would score just one more time. Jason Baldwin's from eight yards out, 56-21. That amounts to a rout of the Catamounts. The Herd now 7-0. Happy's kind of been a thorn in our side for a few years, ever since I've been here, so... You know, go down there and knock those guys off. And, you know, a lot of people talk a lot about Abby and how good they are, but we know that, you know, we like to think of ourselves as, you know, the dominant team of the 90s. Game eight, Marshall followed the Appalachian Trail to Boone, North Carolina, for a grudge match against Marshall's most respected and despised conference rival, Appalachian State. The Mountaineers gave the herd a rude greeting. When Damon Scott went 28 yards, the herd trails 7-0. Maybe the most significant play of the year for Marshall seemed insignificant on the stat sheets. Third and 17 deep in their own territory, and Marshall gambles big time. Coach Kick had put that play in early in the week, and uh, we had planned on running it, but I didn't know we was going to run it down the two-yard line. You know, we was down in my own end zone, and I dodged about three or four people and picked up some blocks from my own guys and, you know, got the first down. It was a big play. That play, a screen pass to Tim Martin. When Eric Kresser almost went down, so too did Martin, and it ends up as a huge gainer, and Marshall continues to win the battle of field position. Second quarter, Randy Moss extends his touchdown catch streak to eight games with an 18-yarder from Kresser. But Marshall trails at halftime for the first time all year. 10-7 Appalachian. We had our backs against the wall at halftime. We came out second half and just dominated. And that, 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 that really propelled us into the playoffs. Uh, for us to do that on the road and to be uh, you know, an Appy team by 14 points at their place, uh, it just set us on, on, on a roller coaster, I guess. And we just headed on to the playoffs. It was in the second half that Marshall proved it was of championship caliber. Eric Kresser and Randy Moss hook up on a picture-perfect 72-yard touchdown play. And the herd will not leave Boone a loser. Marshall punter Chris Hansen kept the Mountaineers' backs up against their facility building all day long. And when Tim Martin grabbed a pass and went 31 yards for the touchdown, Marshall had the win 24-10. And the herd had scaled the Appalachian Mountain reason to dance different teams have different stigmas in their mind of the hurdles they've got to get over and that was certainly a hurdle for Marshall in the past and maybe our players didn't think that they could handle them as well as they did but uh, after that I think we started gaining the confidence that we needed